I'm normally a sweets girl. I love sweets and sweets do not hit. Look how big this belly is. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine and today I'm gonna to be talking about my second trimester and how that went. So if you haven't already checked out my first trimester video, I will link it down below in the description box so you can go check that out. First trimester was rough. Like, it was really, really rough. It was a hard trimester, um, being super sick, having to hide it from everybody, especially my kids, having to still go to work. Like, first trimester was really hard. Thankfully, the second trimester was way better. And like I said, I got notes because mom brain, I forget a lot of stuff. So, I'm currently in my third trimester. I'm actually like far in my third trimester. Um, your third trimester starts around 28 weeks. I am currently 33, so I'm a little behind on this video, but I still wanted to get it out. So the fatigue. So in first trimester, I had tons of fatigue. I could not get through the day without taking like a two hour nap. I, I just, I had to take a nap. Um, the fatigue definitely subsided. In second trimester, the naps kind of tapered off and then I just stopped taking them all together. So I was able to definitely get through the day without taking naps, which was great because I felt like I can get more done. I had more energy, I was more productive. So the fatigue definitely subsided. In my first trimester video, I said my nausea was like 100% of the time. And then towards the end of first trimester, it went to about 75, 80. So I feel like in the second trimester, it went down to like 45, 50% of the time, which is way better than having it all the time. Still had it every day. It just wasn't all day. It would just be like certain times of the day I would have it, but it wasn't like from sun up to sundown, I had it. It would just be like half of the day I would be nauseous. So that was good. The vomiting definitely decreased. I was still having it um probably like the first half of second trimester but it definitely tapered off towards the end and i was not um throwing up as much so that is definitely great because i hate throwing up that's like the worst thing ever the whole spitting thing that i told you guys that i absolutely it's so disgusting if you don't know what i'm talking about go check out my first trimester video it kind of was the same in second trimester it kind of didn't taper off it didn't get better worse whatever it kind of stayed the same cravings um i'm normally a sweets girl i love sweets and sweets do not hit like they just really don't like i'll still have like some ice cream or a milkshake or cookies or something every now and then but they just do not hit the same they don't taste the same i get a weird nasty aftertaste after i eat sweets but like I said, I do from time to time will crave them like I want some candy or I want a milkshake or something like that. But when I eat it, it's like I'm not satisfied. Like I didn't, my craving isn't satisfied. I don't know. But I mostly crave salty, savory things like that. Like chicken. I usually want chicken all the time. Um, usually chicken fingers from Raisin Cane's. That has been like a big thing in my pregnancy. I've had a lot of Raisin Cane's chicken fingers. They're so good um but i usually want chicken majority of the time i want chicken i want chicken wings i want something salty i want chinese food i want japanese food like i want meat and rice and fried rice like i just want you know savory salty things so those are like my cravings pretty much like chips and pretzels like salty stuff so the first time i felt my baby move was during the second trimester that was so exciting it's crazy because it happened after a doc i remember i had a doctor's appointment and they were like have you felt the baby move yet and i was like no not yet and they're like oh it's okay it's okay sometimes moms feel the babies move early sometimes later or whatever but i wasn't concerned because with my other kids i didn't feel the move until about 20 weeks so that's what i was expecting with this pregnancy but i felt him move a little bit earlier now I feel horrible because I don't remember the exact weeks I felt him move, but it was either 16 or 18 weeks I felt the baby move for the first time. It was one of those two. I thought I wrote it down or I thought I mentioned it somewhere and I just cannot find it. And once again, 
mom brain i'm thinking about so many things trying to get prepared for baby all this other stuff and i just can't remember but i remember it was either 16 or 18 weeks because i felt it before 20 weeks and i felt it after a doctor's appointment when they're like have you felt the baby move yet and i'm like no so 16 or 18 weeks i felt him move and it was just like oh my gosh like and he has been moving non-stop ever since then but I was so happy to feel him move because like I said, it's confirmation to me that my child is in there, that he's moving, he's, you know, active and, um, you know, he's healthy and those things. So it's definitely, um, that was definitely exciting feeling him move at nighttime when I'm trying to sleep. He is very, very, very active. So I always try to, um, when he's moving a lot, get my husband or the kids to feel, and he usually stops moving when they touch my belly, which is so crazy but he usually will stop and then they're like okay and then they just walk away and he'll just start flipping and going crazy i don't know but yeah very exciting that's like the highlight of second trimester is feeling my baby move number one number two is having a baby bump because i love the aesthetic of a baby bump like how cute like i love a baby bump it just, just looks very much pregnant and i just love it so having a baby bump is definitely another highlight of second trimester and then the last thing is just being like super bloated and gassy and burpy i mean i don't know what that is if is that indigestion or what but it was worse than first trimester like the gas and the bloating and the burping is definitely was still happening in second trimester now that i'm in third trimester it's definitely tapered off it still happens but it's not as bad and it's weird because like with burping right i'm not really a burpy person like i don't really drink sodas and none of that stuff the only time i really burp is like when i'm drinking sodas or something and i don't really drink sodas and stuff so it's like so weird to like every day all day be burping like i don't know i just think that's just so strange and so weird i'm trying to think is that everything i want to say about my second trimester it was definitely better then first trimester, I had more energy. The sickness definitely kind of subsided a lot. So it was definitely a better trimester. And third trimester <laughs> kind of got rough again, but I'll do a whole nother video, hopefully before I have baby. I'm gonna try to time it to where like, you know, I don't have baby yet, but I'm still like towards the end of the tri my um, third trimester to do a video about it. but. I'm out of breath. Oh, I'll show you guys my bump. Once again, I'm further along in third trimester, so you just gotta remember that. <laughs> I didn't just come out of second. Huge. Look how big this belly is. So like I said, um, third trimester starts around 28 weeks. I'm 33, so keep that in mind. I'm not fresh out of second trimester. So this is bump. This is baby boy. Look how big my belly is, this is crazy. But yeah, that's how the bump is looking. That's all I want to say about second trimester. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video.